Hi guys, it's P here, and today I'm going to show you another Sam 5. And this is a Revel Sam 5. And this is actually the Sam 5 that was from that Christmas special video. And this is a really cool item. And you see, it is a really... Well, and you can actually see some tiny ass knots all the way down there. It's really, really hard to see in this view, but I'm going to show you later. Now what I'm going to do is to move the camera because it's actually a bit kind of big. You see it says Apollo Saturn right there. You can see. Look how small those astronauts are. Right next to the fins. The fins are really small as well. And you can actually split these into stages. For example, It's a bit kind of hard to do it, but you can see right here is the first stage. But actually, this top part, there's actually a little part, which is this, in between the first and second stage. There is this weird thing. This is, this is the SIC. And you see this little wing piece right here. And I think this goes on top. And then the S2, which is right here, goes on top of that. And you see something really cool is you can actually take the third stage out. And you see there's one small one. And, and you can actually see to keep it securely in place, there are actually these things down here. So when you put it out, pull it out, you can see the five main engines down there. And if this is on the SIC. On the S2, you see five slightly smaller J2 rocket engines. And then on the third stage, you see one small J2 rocket engine. And you see this top part is called the launch escape system, which, are, which actually has something really cool. This is where the astronaut's going. Oh, I took it out, but look. This is a command module, and this is what the astronauts go in. You can actually see some windows right there, and it says United States on there. That's actually a water sticker. And you see there's this little part right here on top. I'll show you what that is. It can attach to here, and you see this thing around it is what covers the command module. So that's why you normally see white in there. So it's a bit kind of weird. And also when you look at the splashdown picture, you mostly see it turning into gray. So how do you turn into gray? So when the launch escape system comes off, the cover comes with it, and now the windows are there. And this part right here is a bit kind of fragile. Look, here is a service module. And then let's paste the command module on. And this is where astronaut Mike Collins went in. And something really cool is that you can, this is a bit kind of fragile, but you can actually open these four pieces right here. It's a bit kind of fragile. I don't know about doing this part. But inside, there is a tiny lunar module. And you see, the legs are attracted. And then let's extend them. This one has a ladder. Now let's look at the, there is the lunar module, and here, the, here it is compared to the Lego lunar module. You see the legs are a bit kind of fragile, and the Lego one, this is from that Saturn V set. There's a link in the description below if you want to see that. And you see these are two. And remember this, you actually see a hole right there. But before I show you that, you turn, you turn the ascent stage kind of clockwise and then you can take it off when it's ready to go back to Earth and off the moon. And that's actually what happens. The ascent stage always stays on the, and the ascent stage crashes onto the moon. And you see something really cool is that it looks gold right here. And you see, I'm going to show you what this top part's for. It can be used.
So attached to the top of the command module. So you can make the Apollo spacecraft. The Apollo spacecraft is this, and the Saturn V rocket is now there at this time. And you see it has three parts. Remember this? The service module, the command module, and the lunar module. And this is a really cool thing. This is made by Revel. If you don't know what Revel is, Revel is a company which makes kits. Revel makes some model kits like this, which is really cool. It shows you like what the model looks like. And you see the detail, you can actually see a little dome under there which I think is on the real Saturn V. Now let's place this on, and let's do this down here. It's a bit kind of fragile on this step because of this part right here is a bit kind of fragile because of the four hinges. Because they're fragile and they most likely come off. And this is a bit of a, this is a cool model kit. And you see how I attach black on the model is I use Sharpie to attach the, to attach the, to make the black parts. And you see the water stickers right here. And you see there are two tabs right here so you can so it's a bit easier to hold. I don't know about things over this, but you can see here's a little module. You need to retract the legs and carefully place it inside of here. And then you can place the other two covers right on top of it. And there, do you remember my Lego Saturn V video? It's a really Lego is Lego also has a Saturn V and that is from a previous video that is a really cool video showing you that Lego also made a Saturn V which is actually bigger than this I will show you it later after I assemble it it's a bit kind of hard to do this especially if you attach to the service module the top. It's a bit struggling right here, so let's just attach it on like that. There we go. And then the command module. And then the launch escape system goes on top of that. And then last but not least, I feel like attaching the, the top parts before it's, I usually, this is what I usually like to do. I usually like to attach the, the first part, which is on the base, and then for the second part, I don't attach the second part to the top of the first part. I usually lay it on the ground and then attach the things over that on top of it and place that on top of that thing so you can, so you don't have to move to top. I actually have the Lego Saturn V. Here it is in comparison. You see the Lego one is bigger. And you see, they didn't add the US logo on, this, on the SIBB third stage. I don't know why they didn't add it on here. That's a bit kind of weird. And you see that white command module, which is actually the command module cover. And there we go. That's a review of this cool Channel 5. Thanks for watching, and let's see ya.